today we'll be discussing about the cleaning of energy as we know the universe is about the energy and emotions feeling thoughts all that is required to align your energy into the frequency of the universe and now um, while thinking about this alignment uh, we also um, think about the emotions that is primary emotions when we consciously think about what uh, we want what we cherish and uh, what are the uh, what are the vision we are having uh, in in terms of our goals and the ultimate desire that we have but we manifest what we are not what we want so what we are so that has to um, brings one into the reality that uh, what one is actually whether we are reflecting those uh, the same frequencies as uh, what we want and uh, uh, it it if it happens gradually actually one doesn't realize but suppose something happens and uh, the the thin veil which is kind of uh, distancing you from your the, your next reality then you will realize that uh, uh, suddenly suddenly you are uh, into that uh, the next reality uh, which you you were not realizing till that moment the veil was lifted so that is when you you get a little bit closer with what you are <clears throat> and uh, then how to not always uh, these um, so this sudden phenomena is going to happen not all the way something happens that lift let that lifts your veil or gets you closer to what you are so consciously one needs to um, try to be closer to one's own core identity who i am so who i am uh, is the real person that we are on one hand we know that we are the um, very beautiful human beings that we were born we were at birth and uh, there are a lot of circumstances that uh, have been uh, responsible for creating the veils around us which kind of protect our uh, innocent soul and our being but uh, after some time actually we get get ourselves recognized by those veils those surroundings and those circumstances which kind of mm, covers our inner self but we get identified by that who identifies us uh, in front of us it is our selves right so that is the self image that we create and that self image obviously is not uh, the correct one so uh, why we get into those kind of erroneous uh, self images uh, uh, it is because of past experiences how uh, we get uh, um, affirmed by other people hmm, kind of established uh, by the the recognition that other people do uh, and that is how we recognize but no uh, why do we allow the other person to kind of define us why we cannot define ourselves altogether from from the moment the moment right now and uh, what is that uh, that uh, person that we would like ourselves to define like is it very courageous it is the person who uh, <clears throat> who is helpful who is in tune with the universe who in tune with the, the greater goal um, of humanity and whatever we can decide ourselves to be so uh, what i learned today was uh, uh, tony robbins is a one person who suddenly challenged himself to have 1 million dollar in a day manifesting 1 dollar in a day see what kind of like see challenging oneself is what nobody 
else is watching it is like watching oneself wah or like say that manifestation that has to happen if the energy within is clean enough and one one has to have that kind of frequency that vibration that one needs one has that capability to retain to that uh, uh, 1 million dollar ad kind of vision also unless that uh, one is not able to uh, retain that and what use is that suppose you do that for one day like say if a milit- a lottery is won then you uh, of course you earn a lot more than a million maybe but would you be able to retain that how many lottery owners uh, retain their wealth uh, till long not many right why because it is a sudden manifestation manifestation of something which also uh, uh, like say disintegrates into mm, mm, being broke after some time because the energy is not in tune with the consistency that one needs to have so hmm. <coughs> <coughs> that is one kind of uh, realization that one needs to have and how many of us is the secretly desire to win a lottery because we can't visualize what will be the sources from where this money that we are thinking is going to come but that is not the job like say all the all the people who all the seers they have they have kind of uh, uh, reiterated this fact that uh, the the how and the source and from where all these are not our job to decide this actually gets decided by the universe and which is an abundant source of um source of riches Uh, of unlimited kind it is infinite in its uh, sources and riches and we don't have that kind of uh, um, like say we we don't we can't fathom like say from where this will be sourced so whatever we cannot fathom why to be bothered about that that is not uh, required also so what is required is getting into that rhythm that uh, my new thought process uh, uh, from where we can manifest and in line with uh, the universe so one thing uh, many times i personally realize is to uh, get into a moment of stillness and continue with that stillness suppose there is something in front and uh, uh being one with that feeling if it is an unpleasant thing let it be but the mind needs to get trained into being with that particular thought pattern for a longer time normally what happens if it is not a very pleasant uh, thought process then the mind uh, kinds of drifts away from that and think it it kinds of hides from that uh, unpleasantness into something something which it uh, which it likes but no um, uh, one cannot actually escape from the feel the feel is there which is unpleasantness and um, no amount of uh, effort will bring the mind into something liking no matter what effort you do you watch a very good movie you read a very good book you talk to a very good person you have a very pleasant confer- conversation and do whatever whatever that unpleasantness is not will be at your back of the mind so why avoid that just let us bring into that moment that feeling and that thought process uh, be with that unpleasantness and let have the let us have the feel of it that is how the mind gets still in the process of the pain if it is an unpleasantness it is very easy to be in the thought process if one gets a pleasant uh, experience but uh, the difficulty comes in when there is pain 
in everyday life. Some pain and the mind gets stick to it all the time trying to escape the pain. So that escape, to avoid that escape, one needs to be still with the pain. So that is one of the experience and one needs to have you with it, to be still with it. So that the mind doesn't dis get distracted in uh, so many of directions, hmm. uh, having experienced that kind of pain. So that is how the mind knows how to be um, one with uh, the suffering and also at the same time with the pleasantness. So how do we define our pleasantness? And something, somebody says something good about us. We achieve something. But those are temporary, right? What remains with us is the mind that can hold on to the thought process, right? It, it becomes consistent with uh, every kind of feeling. That is the stillness that we are looking at. And that makes, let's like say in that case, we are not spending energy here, there, everywhere. The energy is being directed to whichever direction you want to. Stillness is one way of uh, saving energy into whatever is the goal. So the goal is there, no? The goal is there and we have defined that goal and uh, we are not allowing our energy to be dissipated by experiences, everyday experiences and that is what is stillness. And uh, that stillness happens <coughs> with, with just being being with the feeling whatever happens um, whatever is the experience and uh, yeah that brings that brings ourselves to clean an energy cleaner energy we we clean our energy um, from any kind of contamination of uh, <clears throat> of our thoughts our emotions mix of everything into um, into the source that we are trying to, we are, we are not pushing ourselves into vi visualizing something which we don't at, at all uh, trust. So that distrust is one kind of dissipation of energy. The, the effort to uh, think something positive in, despite having something at the back of mind, very negative, so that is again dissipation of energy. So suppose something is happening. If we are still with that, it doesn't actually uh, pain use after some time. If that is the feeling, then no matter what, every, every occurrence is kind of a, a gift, a kind of uh, uh, lesson being brought into oneself now let us do that let us do that actually let us try to do that and it is so simple yet it takes a lot of single mindedness uh, to be able to be on that track yeah so let us practice thank you